Hello and welcome to another Active Knocker tutorial video. Now in this video, we're going to dive into the web application and show you the new features of what we added. First, you're going to want to open up any web browser and at the top in the URL, you're going to want to type in web.activeknocker.com. That's web.activeknocker.com. And uh, here for the email and password, you're going to want to put your email and password, the same one you use for your mobile application, you're going to want to put your email and password there and then hit the login button. Now, when you're logged in, depending on when you do this, the dashboard may look a little different because we're constantly adding new features. The first, you're going to see your usage for your import records. What this is, is if you have a spreadsheet that you want to import into the software, well, it's going to show you how many pins you're using for the month. And then on the right, you'll see your file storage space. So if you're taking pictures on your pins from your mobile application, it'll show you how much file storage you're actually using and uh, what the total amount you're allotted. And if you ever want to increase this, you can email us support at activeknocker.com to increase the total amount of import records per month and as well your file storage. Now up here on the upper left hand side you're going to see there's a territory tab. When you click on this this is the actual map that now from the web application you can use. Manage territory if you've been using the mobile application as you know I can zoom out for example and uh, maybe I want to click on the plus icon and assign certain area to whether it be a sales team or an individual sales rep. I'll just highlight this over here. And uh, now that this area is highlighted, I can click on the eye icon and uh, maybe I want to give it a territory name like uh, test, uh, test name uh, number one. Okay. And I update this. So now this territory is named test name number one. I can even click on this eye icon and uh, delete this territory or assign it to either an individual sales rep or a whole team, a sales team that we have inside of our software. So if I wanted to assign it to an individual sales rep, this turf, I would click on that assign. And yes, you better believe from the mobile application, they will get a pop-up notification saying that the user just has new area that's been assigned to them. And of course you can play around with the filter here on the upper left hand side and filter by individual sales reps, uh, or maybe even a date range. Like you want to see all the territory, uh, that's uh, on the map within a certain date range. So let's just close that. And um, next you have the knock pins now, which means you can actually drop pins on the properties from within the mobile application. So if I were to maybe click on this property was actually sleeping, I can do that and add another pin to the next home. It was a canceled. And by the way, if you click on the pin, yes, just like the mobile application now, you can either update the, the pin and um, you can even do more from such as adding the contact details, putting the client's first and last name, title, phone number, and all that fun stuff, and uh, so much more. Maybe perhaps you want to even schedule a to-do with one of your reps, or maybe you are the rep that's logged in and wanted to schedule a to-do. You can do that and uh, get reminders, notifications, automatically synced with your mobile application. Yes, you can do proposals, attach images, and even navigate over to the property. Up here on the right hand side, you'll see a created date. This is a log. If you ever want to click on it, you'll see a log of who did what on this actual pin. So both in the mobile application and the web app, you can do that. So let's just click close for now. And uh, if you ever want to move a pin, just click on it and move it over directly just like that. Here on the upper right hand side, you can click on this magnifying glass and now you can actually, maybe you want to just search for a brand new pin on the, on the map. You type in the address and it'll show you, you can drop the pin or do it more with it. Existing pins is basically the pins that you already have on your map. Maybe you want to search those by name, by address. You could type that in here and territory name. You also can now search by territory. Like if you remember, we called it uh, some type of, uh, sorry, sample. Uh, territory, I'm sorry, sample name. If I just hit the enter button, it'll actually pull it up. Okay. 
Okay, so in here on territory, if I wanted to search existing territory, remember we called it uh, name number one. If I just go number one, for example, and hit the go, it'll scan all my territory and say, oh wait, it was called test name number one. So I click on it and it automatically takes me to that territory. I can zoom out and if you recall, that's directly over there. Next, I want to show you guys the to-dos. So you can go in there and uh, maybe perhaps you want to schedule an actual to-do on the uh, to-do tab. You just click on the date and you enter the name, the title name, the due date, reminder, and so on and so forth. And yes, you can even assign it if you're an admin or a sales manager to your reps. You can assign a to-do to your reps. Uh, and then over here on the upper right hand side, we have a filter icon. So maybe you want to filter the to do's that are already open um, or completed uh, by the certain sales representatives, of course, depending on your privileges, but you'll be able to do those things here on the upper left hand side. We even have a list view. So if you had open uh, to do's tasks, you can click on the list view and take a look at them on an actual list. So over here on the leads, if you go to leads and then import, you can actually import leads from a spreadsheet. And by the time you probably watch this video, we're very close to releasing a brand new version of this where you'll even have a mapping, a way of mapping your current leads in so you can import them. Meaning when you upload the spreadsheet, it'll say, hey, these are the headers that you chose from the spreadsheet. Which corresponding uh, field do you want to map that to inside of your active knocker? So that's coming very soon. So depending on when you watch this, if you see that mapping, it's just going to make your import a lot more uh, uh, simple to use, but a lot of you've been using this already where you just uh, follow the rules with the proper headers up at the top and uh, you import your leads and they automatically pin them on the map and they assign it to the appropriate users. Some of them, they get the route, some of them, they don't. And that's where this is. Do you, when you're assigning your pins and uploading them to the software, do you want to assign it with an actual route or maybe no route to your sales rep? They just get the pins and uh, you could take a look at the history of your imports reports manage pins. Here's where you can actually go and build out any type of report that you want to see on your actual pins. And when you build a report on your pins, you can even have filters. Like maybe I only want, those are my headers over here in the background, but then I also only want to see the pins by a certain user, um, a certain sales rep. Let's get rid of user. Let's do a seller. And uh, in a given city, maybe you want to do uh, whether it has notes or not and uh, a certain pin. So I'm going to see all my not interested pins and uh, my uh, callback pins and also the sales rep, uh, this user and display the results. So there's only 15 pins that we have in this database that follow fit this criteria. Uh, here's this action tab. I actually want to show you if I were maybe to select, you know, these three pins, these three uh, records four records and um, I wanted to create an action like delete these pins out of my database, uh, assign them to an individual rep, maybe change the pin status from one to another. I can click change pin and from all these, I want to make all these pins that I just selected, uh, you know, uh, maybe I want to create a, a, a contact made because I made contact with them. So now those pins just got updated to contact made. So it's cool things like that, that you can quickly build out reports and uh, do so much more from within the software here on the web app that uh, you'll find handy once you need to do certain things. And as you know, with reports and proposals, you could take a look at who's submitting proposals at your company and uh, just play around with the filter of date ranges and uh, so much more if you're looking for a particular report. And uh, with the activity report, this is where you can go in and, and uh, take a look at activity. You know, uh, you, what, what did your door knockers do today or within the last week, the last month? You can go in again to the filters, play with the filters, and uh, maybe you want to see, you know, this month so far what uh, the, the reps did. And uh, you'll be able to see that all and uh, from here. We do want to add many more activity features and reports. So again, please provide us the feedback on what exact analytics you're looking for. And uh, that's how we're going to be adding this directly to the software. We have more coming. Uh, the users tab, you can go over to the users tab and you can add invite users directly from here. You could take a look at the pending users, the ones you, you invited, but those sales reps didn't accept your invitation yet. And you can cancel those invitations out, but uh, you can even go to your users. And uh, when you click on an individual user, you could take a look at their image, upload an image, see who invited that user to the software. 
and uh, even share the pins with a team, which means maybe you have sales reps where you want every time your sales rep uh, drops a pin, well, their pin's gonna be viewable by the other reps on that individual team. So a sales rep has to belong to a team, and if you were to choose this uh, share pins with a uh, team, that means all the other members on that team will be able to see those pins on the map that, for example, I dropped. And uh, you can just go in and update all this directly from here. Disabled users are your users that used to be, uh, you know, in the software and now they actually are disabled. Um, go to your managed teams and you can build your sales teams and who's on those sales teams directly from managing teams. And under your configurations tab, here's where you go into pins, inventory services. Uh, if you want to configure your pins with, uh, you know, emojis perhaps and colors, you can go and do that directly now from the web app. Inventory products. So we've added the ability to add products and the costs and so on and so forth directly from here. Play around with that. Kits are basically, maybe you have multiple products that you want to put inside of a kit. So let's just say, you know, for those of you in the solar industry, you have a solar 5,000 kit, you want to call it. Well, add your product. What is inside of that? Let's just add that product. Let's add this product. And, uh, you know, let's add this product. And let's just say in this kit, there's, you know, four of these and, uh, you know, three of these. And the total amounts, maybe for these, you charge zero. Uh, and these, you want to keep them at that. Whatever it is. So kits are basically a group of product all in one so that it's faster for data entry. When you choose that kit, it'll auto populate that so you can send proposals that much faster to your clients. Uh, services are obviously if there's, let's just say a monthly service that's required uh, for the customer, meaning they paid you for the product, but you also want to charge them a certain amount per month. You can create your, your services and your contract terms for those services. And uh, company details is where you can update your phone numbers, your name of your company, the company email, choose your logo so that when you guys log in, and the integrations. All our integrations are going to be here on this integrations tab. We do have plans to integrate with Zapier and so much more, but uh, for now it's PhilQuick, our sister company, by the way, um, which is for the home security industry, PhilQuick.com. I highly recommend you check that out for those of you in the security space. Uh, basically what this is, is if you integrate with Feel quick. Uh, when you're on an actual pin and you want to push it out into Feel quick, you push one button on the actual pin and um, you'll be able to directly push out the data directly from, I'll just click on this, you'll be able to push it out directly from within the app and it'll log you into your actual Feel quick account and the rest is history. It'll automatically upload it to update it uh, here inside of Feel quick. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I know that's a lot. I wanted to dive on in and show you guys the power of uh, Active Knocker, and we are continuing to add. Once again, we continuing to add a bunch of features, so stay tuned. More coming to the mobile application, more coming to the web application. Thank you for all your support. Email us, support at activeknocker.com. We'd love to hear what you think. Thank you. Bye-bye.